Um, I just wanted to look at quite a useful sort of manipulation tool called uh, Duplicate and Duplicate Special. So to duplicate an object in Maya, you don't go Control C and Control V. Uh, that might appear to work, but it creates problems. Uh, so to duplicate an object, what you want to do is you want to just go Control D. OK, uh, so Control D and it, it has duplicated it. It looks like it's not there, but you'll see that. Hang on. Sorry, I need to select the object. Control D. And you'll see it has created a new object. It's just on top of the existing object. And you can see there we are. That's duplicated it. So that's how we can duplicate objects. But I want to go on to a more powerful tool called Duplicate Special. So if I go into Edit Duplicate Special uh, and click on the options, what this allows us to do is we can make multiple copies. We can make as many copies as we want. Okay, so let's say we want to make sort of 13 copies of it. So it saves us a lot of work. But also we can actually apply a slight translation to each of these copies. So if I wanted to uh, stack a load of top of these on top of each other uh, or create some dominoes or something like that, uh, I could just go um, so uh, it's going to be slightly wrong axis, but I'll just put two in here. OK, and click uh, apply and you'll see that it's just created loads of copies and each time it's made a copy, it's just moved it two units up okay and stack them on top of each other I could use this to kind of create a load of pillars uh, to create dominoes anything that's a repeating kind of element uh, a useful place to use this is with stairs so if I actually just translate this in the y-axis but also translate this in the so if I look at my axis here I want to translate this in the z-axis the z-axis is going in this direction so if I go minus two sorry I think I've pressed the wrong button there. Let's just try again. If I go minus two, okay, that will mean that it will duplicate up in this direction here. So let's click apply. And you can see I've got myself a staircase as easy as that, okay, and save myself a lot of work. And um, another thing I can do is I want to, I can actually apply scales and rotate. So let's imagine I want to rotate this. I want to create a spiral staircase. So let's put, say, 20 degree spiral on this every time it translates and we go apply and I've now got a spiral staircase uh, that I can uh, use as well perhaps a slightly aggressive twist on there but anyway uh, a spiral staircase that I can use as well so that's a uh, duplicate special you can explore and try that out yourself um, uh, yeah have fun with it